Hey all and welcome back to another build guide. As always, my name's Luke and in this guide, I'll walk you through building this small corrugated iron security fence. I say security fence, but really it's just an old dodgy fence with some barbed wire on top of it. But hey, it looks kind of cool. First off, we want a panel of corrugated iron. I'll put a link right here to another video where I describe the process for making the corrugated iron. It's very easy and useful in so many other applications. I'll also put a link in the description below. Make sure the panel is big enough to allow for some excess. We will align the grooves and trim the excess off once we've made the fence frame. Now for the frame of the fence. I'm using matchsticks to make the frame and I'm cutting the upright post 2.5 cm in length. An average HO scale person is just under 2 cm. So the height of the fence will be just above the average person's head. As for the horizontal beams, I'm cutting them 3 cm long. I didn't make any specific measurements, just a bit of guesswork and what looks right to the eye. It's an old crappy fence after all, it doesn't have to be perfect. To remove the squareness of the matchstick, I sand down one edge to flatten them out a little. It gives them a slightly more realistic appearance. I find the grids on the cutting mat help align the matchsticks. The baking paper is similar to tracing paper and is see-through, which is great to help square up the fence. And I'm simply using PVA glue to assemble the fence frame. I use my tray of pastels to help ensure the frame dries flat by weighing the fence down as it dries. The baking paper helps prevent the fence from sticking to the mat as the glue is easily removed from the baking paper. And that's the basic frame done. I line the vertical fence posts with the vertical grooves in the foil and cut along the groove on both sides. As for the horizontal cuts, I mark in the foil where the top and bottom of each post is using the knife. For the top of the fence, I cut using the ruler from one mark straight across to the other. However, for the bottom, I cut about 2 to 3 millimeters in from the mark. This is so the bottom of the fence is slightly raised off the ground. A quick test fit shows everything is looking pretty good. Before gluing it all together, I paint the fence frame burnt umber. Just a rough coat is fine as it will be weathered with pastels later. A very light dabbing of glue is all that's needed to adhere the frame of the fence to the foil and you'll want to avoid excess glue oozing out and ruining the details in the foil. And again, you'll probably want to put something heavy on it as it dries, just to ensure it dries flat. Before I weather the fence, I'm just touching up the edges of the corrugated iron with some silver acrylic paint. I then apply numerous coats of pastels, mostly earth colours like yellow ochre and burnt umber, and just a little bit of black. To help seal the pastels, I give it a light spray of dull coat, and this also helps the pastels stick to the foil in the second coat of weathering that I'm about to apply. Now you could just leave it at that if you want, it looks pretty good, but I want to give it just a little bit extra, so I'm going to make some barbed wire. This is the thinnest wire I could find in the art store. It's 32 gauge jewelry wire. Just grab a length, about 30 centimeters should do, and twist the ends together, and poke the twisted ends into the drill and tighten. I'm using a matchstick to hold the other end, and now simply turn the drill and let it twist. Now you have a nicely braided wire, to get that security fence coiled barbed wire look, I found an old pen insert and wrapped the wire around it tightly. Now that it's coiled, you can stretch it out a little and trim it to the length you desire. Again, simply glue it to the top of the fence. For a subtle effect, I lightly dust the wire with black pastel. And that's it, now you have an old rundown corrugated fence with some barbed wire on it for security. No one's going to get past that fortress. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the build. 
I try and post as many videos as I can, so if you want to stay up to date with my latest releases, please subscribe, and I have plenty more videos and ideas on the way. In the meantime, feel free to check out the channel and see if there's anything else there that you like. Cheers and thanks for watching.